said, I, I recall vividly, that you think the most uh, important opportunity facing schools in developing worlds, sub-Saharan Africa, for example, is mobile, mobile technology. Oh, uh, yes. Tell us, tell us what you mean. What, what is this opportunity? What, what's happening now that you see will create new opportunities okay. for schools in sub-Saharan yeah. Africa? This is a very personal passion of mine, and you know that. Um, I wouldn't say that, um, I mean, it could happen with the local business schools, but it can also happen outside the local business schools. Mm -hmm. um, nothing has transformed the developing world more and has benefited it more in the last 50 years than the advent of mobile phones. Um, farmers in Kenya who live way out in the, in the boonies have cell phones. As you know, Kenya has been the pioneer of electronic banking, mm -hmm. and that is this company, Safaricom, that I mentioned before, that developed something called M-Pesa. M-Pesa means mobile money in Swahili. And so Kenyans and others can now do all their banking transactions, whether it's money transfer, saving, paying bills, etc., on their on their mobile phones. It also has benefited women, believe it or not. And I remember being in a village in, in Kenya, and uh, my wife and I saw three ladies come, and they were very cheerful, and they were chatting, and we started talking, and uh, they told us, oh, you know, we love this mobile banking, because um, before, when we earned some money, we had to go home and give it to the men. And the men would uh, do things with their money, which, which were not necessarily socially very productive. <laughs> now, we have our savings on our SIM card, and the men don't know how much there is. And then they said, we just had our hair done. And we went to <laughs> productive thing. So it empowers mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and women in particular. So next step, why has mobile banking exploded? And Cell phones are also used very much for agricultural uh, advice and in the medical world mm -hmm. and global health. Why not in education? And uh, there is very little in terms of education being good educational programs that you can capture on cell phones. So I started asking why. And there are several reasons. One is that in the advanced countries, in Europe, in America, and so on, everybody has computers, tablets, Wi-Fi, broadband, etc. You do not need a cell phone in order to, to do online education. Right. You go to Africa, maybe 10% of households are connected to the internet, mm -hmm. but everyone has access to a cell phone. So, Therefore, there has been very, very little research and progress on mobile education in the advanced economies. And what there has been are a few NGOs that did pilots in India, in Africa, etc. Now, I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough. There are several companies that have found what was missing, which is essentially a profitable business model that makes it possible for educational institutions to earn money and make mobile education sustainable. Because if you do mobile banking, it's very easy. You just add a percent to, to whatever it is, and you don't have any billing problems. It's, it's very simple. If you want to put education on the cell phone, it's very hard to, to chase your customers, to have them pay, and so on. And I think that we're on the verge of a breakthrough. There are a few companies now that have developed uh, methods in which the company earns money, and at the same time, in partnership with local business schools, they scale up um, the reach of these African and other business schools. Um, we were just having a conversation with a colleague of mine who, who said that the, what was it, the top 10 business schools in Africa only have 14,000 students or something like this in a continent of a billion people. So no matter how much you improve these schools, um, 
they're only going to, to touch the tip of the tip of the iceberg. But if you had mobile education, you could multiply this by 10 and maybe eventually by 100 uh, in the next 20, 30 years. And that will be really the way to achieve what we started off with, which is to enlarge the pool of local skills and to improve the standard of living in these countries. Mm -hmm.